Uh, hello YouTube, today I'll be showing you how to create a vanilla server using the minecraft.jar file. Uh, you can use the minecraft.exe, uh, but then you can't go adding in any custom mods which you can get off the internet. So okay, uh, to get it, all you need to do is go to minecraft.net, then you'll see play minecraft beta, uh, and then just click download, then scroll down, and we'll see multiplayer beta server software. Uh, you'll have an exe or minecraft server.jar I prefer using the server.jar because it'll let you add in uh, plugins and you'll notice across the bottom you've got this code you just want to copy that and save it for later then click on this to download it and save the file it downloads really quickly and then all you need to do is place it onto your desktop and place it in a folder called whatever you want uh, I'm just going to call this um, minecraft.jar server and open it up, then get the .jar file that we just downloaded and place it in here. Now the second thing you need to do is create a new text document and place in the uh, code which is from here. So just highlight it and copy it and go into here and paste it in. Then file and save as and just do I'm just gonna do run dot bat and make sure it's dot bat at the end because uh it's the way of the computer be able to be able to run the jar file. Uh you can just double click on this but I'm just gonna totally skip this and show you how to get everything running nice and smoothly for you. Uh if you double click on a run file uh you'll get all of this working for you. Uh if you don't get that what you need to do is go to Minecraft uh, go to your computer go to computer here go to your c command your yeah, program files go to java and then you'll see i've got all of these in here uh you what you need them if what you do you get this then go to bin then click up there and copy this then you go to computer then go to system properties advanced system settings and then continue then what you do from here on you go to advanced tab and environment variables then you just go down here and you until you find path click edit then you see that little like then you place one of these a semicolon then you just paste in the directory path and then ok it then you go to the file where you've placed it and you just double click that. If it still doesn't work there's a second option. If you download the Java development kit uh, just click into there then go to bin and copy this again and go to here and place it in here again under path and edit it and place another semicolon and do a control V OK all and close that and there we go now the uh, one batch file should work and it should have started off with all of this and it will just generate everything for you uh, this is nearly finished uh, I'll just quickly talk you through it banned IPs bans an IP from the server uh, if that's if you want to ban more than one person who is you know is on that IP address ban players will ban a person's player name so if they have two accounts then they can still join with the other one Ops are basically the admins of the server. Uh, if you put someone's name under op, uh, for example, 123abc, we'll have all of the commands that are on there. Uh, then that's how that works. Um, just don't save that. Uh, if you want to ban a player, then you just place their name in there. Ban an IP is more complicated. Uh, you can do this from the in-game. You just do ban IP and put their player name on a whitelist. Uh, if you want 123 ABC to join and you want ABC 123 to join, then you place them on the whitelist. If you only want 123 ABC to join, then you get rid of that. And basically, now the only player who can join when you have a whitelist activated is this player here. Under the Servity Properties files, uh, you decide everything. The level world. The level name is going to be world or whatever you want your world to be. Uh, if you're going to use a single player world, place it in here and whatever the name of the folder is, you place there. Allowing never, 
uh, basically allows never to be turned on uh, the spawn monsters uh, if that's on true then spawn monsters can spawn uh, if you got spawn animals to true then animals can spawn uh, onla online mode basically means that uh, if that's set to true then people can join your server if it's set to offline then only you can join your server just bear in mind uh, if you got animals monsters and never on true it will create more lag for your server and uh, max plays is basically the biggest amount of plays you can have join your server at one time uh, if you set it to 20 players then 20 people can join if set to 10 10 players can join uh, your server IP is the IP of the server which you're going to be using uh, to set this up uh, you just need to go to show my IP and place it in there uh, PVP as if that's equal to true then players can kill each other uh, level seed is basically like in single player you just use it to generate a specific world server port as the port that the server will be running on from for this example it's 25565 and that's the default gateway uh, to get your server IP you go to your search bar and you do CMD and press enter then you do IP config and you'll get your IP address uh, with that IP address you just f under the PV4 gateway you just paste it into there uh, allow flight if that's set to false then people can't use fly mods and the whitelist if that's set to true then the whitelist document which is that will kick into action and only players who are on that can join the server as now you may know it's uh, it started up and uh, just start the minecraft here if you're using uh, the minecraft.jr as well uh, you instead of just placing your IP address in there for you as yourself if you're on your own computer you trying to join your own server all you got to do is a local host to get other people to join you got to give them your IP address and you can get that from show my IP so okay here's the server and there we go that's the server uh, it works fine uh, it's just because I'm recording here at the same time uh, it's using up a lot of my uh, memory uh, so it's not going to be running smoothly uh, so you gotta make sure you have enough uh, RAM for your server to run. If you have too little RAM on your server, it'll basically be laggy as anything, and people will get really annoyed if they're trying to play. Uh, you'll notice as well on uh, this, because I joined, it said that I've logged in, and when I left, it basically said it disconnected. And again, to stop this, you've got to do stop, and it'll basically stop everything for you and close. Uh, you'll notice as well here, uh, everything else is here. If you want to add in your own mods uh, to do this uh, you right click it and open it with Winrar Archiver and you basically have to download the .jar files of everything for the um, down let's go to downloads okay um, I'm gonna have to go into the internet here and get one so for example I'll use the planes mod Now these are client side mods and server side mods which means uh, for everyone who's going to be on the server they've got to install everything. So for explains you've got to download the mod loader MP and you've got to download the plain server version 14 or whatever version you want to use. So then you scroll down to find it and you just download it. Now I'm a personal hater of these ADFLY links, they're really annoying, they take ages to download, but uh you're just gonna have to get I'm gonna have to get used to them. Okay, so once you download it on any mod that you want to use, you've gotta make sure you have the mod loader MP in because no mods will work without it. Now you just copy and paste it into the server.jar. So paste it in and close that there and we'll go back to the internet and download the planes you can use this for any mod by the way so there we go uh, we'll just download it there the planes a uh, little bit more complicated but uh, it's quite simple the minecraft underscore server you just install all of this into the server.jar itself and there we go that's done 
and then all you need to do is get the planes and planes dot properties and copy those into the the directory of the server then just double click run and there we go it'll load you'll notice that the uh, planes has been loaded uh, it'll work as long as you play, uh, install the client side mod of it uh, it'll be on the server either way but you won't be able to use it unless you've got a client side mod on uh, basically that means you've got to install the mod itself for it to work and everyone who's on the server has got to install a client side mod to be able to see the planes uh, and for it to work totally on the server and just to stop it again just got to do stop get into the habit of doing that do not try to click the cross button because it will mess everything up so there we go in the last two tutorials I showed you how to install a minecraft server and a bucket server and how to install some mods onto this so there we go thanks for watching and that is how to create a minecraft.jar server